Good morning. Well, hello there. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to roll this morning? I'm ready to roll. All right. Where are we going? Cimarron Mesa. Cimarron Mesa. You heard the man. Let's go get it. <laughs> kind of got myself in a bad spot. So. All right. Well, I'm here with uh, AA70Y or OY, AA70Y, Dale. <laughs> and uh, we're at the quasi trailhead. It's actually a horrible bushwhack, but look at this, just rolling, <laughs> rolling hills really to get up there. And uh, so this is going to be a fairly, well, it's two miles the way I charted miles, it. Yeah. So pretty simple hike. Um, Dale was the first one to activate this last year. So he's, uh, he's <laughs> escorting me to the top. <laughs> so let's get cracking here. All right, Dale told me this was just rolling hills. Uh, rolling hills is one thing when you're at sea level. At 7,000 plus, it's a bit, wee bit more. Huffing and puffing. We're huffing and puffing for sure. Good little climb up this last one. Looks like our summit. Is that it over there, Dale? Uh, no. To the right? It's actually behind these hills straight in front of us. Behind these hills? Yeah. Oh God! Oh, that's the mistake I made last time. <laughs> I headed for that, and I was, oh, that's not it. <laughs> All right. Well, there you go. You heard it from an Arizona goat. Get cracking, less yakking. Let's get cracking. Okay. According to Soda Goat, we've got 28 vertical feet to go before we get to the peak. We are in the AZ, the activation zone. And uh, simple hike. As you can see, uh, another horrible bushwhack in New Mexico. Being facetious, this is really, really my kind of bushwhacking where you can just kind of, you're in an open field, easily navigate between stuff. And no cactus, that's kind of a bonus too. So. I think we were, what, 7,500 feet? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. So, almost there. We're going to set up, send some cool waves out, as Steve would say. Should be a good one. Oh, it's nice up here. Beautiful view. Overcast just moved in. Can't beat this. Easy at two miles maybe up here. Um, should stay right here. Not actually how far it was, but um, yeah. Peaceful birds, turban layer in the background. I might have an open here on this cable and me gluing this these paddles down to my kneeboard here may not have been the best idea in the world. We're about to find out how messed up that is. I like using external power because I can go multiple activations without having to recharge. And if I have a big moldy summit day, I can do four, four summits easily on this on this guy, so no problema. No problemo. All right.
right, well that does it for this summit. I got uh, 30 contacts for Summit to Summits. What'd you get? Yeah, about the same, I think, yeah. All right. <laughs> Beautiful day. Oof, got a gully washer coming down over there now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed those drone shots. Try to get a few. Uh, not real pointy up here, but a uh, beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful day. Um, if you want to know more about the hobby, go to hamninja.com slash SOT360. And there's a four-part series out there on how to activate, etc. Also, if you want to see my ego get even bigger, and who doesn't want to see that? Like and subscribe. Let's roll the credits. Thanks for watching.